Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy this meditation. This particular meditation is pointing to the idea that we can increase our inspiration through our practice of meditation. We can raise our level of inspiration through meditation itself. Using meditation to increase our inspiration, we might think that the key is tuning in to what makes us happy, and it certainly is. We should understand what brings us joy, what brings us a sense of aliveness, because this is our calling in life. And there's a chance that we have been missing this big picture, so to speak, all along. The big picture being what we are here to do in life. What's our purpose for being? I think we could all agree that we should be celebrating our life while we can and should be expressing ourselves as often as we can through creativity, through inspiration. Just thinking about the joy that we had the last time we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with somebody about our dreams, about the things we wanted to accomplish in life. Just think about how that made you feel when you had that opportunity to do that. Think about the joy you experienced when you last did the thing that you enjoyed the most. That, that thing that you did when you lost all sense of time. You were in the moment. You were doing the thing that you should be doing at that time and perhaps the thing that you should be concentrating on within your life. When we go into meditation and we're able to cut off the five senses and we go within, we're able to more easily and more purposefully watch the activity of the mind. And this is the whole idea behind meditation. Of course, meditation is a practice of renunciation. It's a practice of letting go of the attachments that we have in life. But it's also a tool that we can use to find purpose, find our creativity, and Finding this inspiration, this creativity, is not only realizing our gifts and realizing the thing that we love to do, but it's also knowing what holds us back. And so when we incorporate these tools in meditation, it's a combination of self-inquiry and insight. Insight comes about by our actually expressing ourselves and our doing. Doing the things that we're supposed to be doing and just sometimes just jumping into it and then the insight arises. The creativity comes out because we are actually doing what we're supposed to be doing at the time. So we should know what has held us back in the past so that we can look out for these things. All of this equals one major ingredient that we can add to this soup of life, we could call it, and that is love that one word love, unconditional love for life itself. Not for a particular thing or a particular person, but just loving life. What brings about this love of life for you? 
I invite you to get comfortable. We'll do a short meditation here, something that you can hopefully use throughout your day and come back to this meditation again and again. A meditation that includes guiding a little bit of silence, but most of all, an inner looking within your own mind to see what arises during this meditation and how it makes you feel and how it can help you in the future. Close your eyes. Take a few nice deep breaths. Inhaling, slowly exhaling, releasing any tension, any stress that you might feel. I'm inviting you to tune into the body right now. Another deep breath, a deep inhalation, slowly exhale. Try to relax all the muscles within the body, relaxing the forehead, the eyes, the tongue, the jaw, the neck. Relax your shoulders and your arms, your upper back, your chest, your middle back, your upper abdomen and your lower abdomen, lower back. Balance your hips, balance your body and your chair cushion. Feel the hips sink into the cushion or chair, relaxing the legs. Relaxing the shins and the calves, the knees, the ankles, and even the feet. See how that feels and slowly exhale. Set the intention to relax, to not struggle to enjoy this meditation, to enjoy these next few moments. Not to expect anything, but to know that it is good for you to be here. Take a moment and think about your uniqueness. The thing that you were sent to do in this life is special to you. There is nobody like you in this entire world, and there never will be. Your time this time around is unique to you. When we think about our creativity, when we think about why we're here on this earth. It's easy to think about the things that we love to do, the things that we're good at doing. And of course, we want to help humanity in everything that we do, all of our endeavors. And we want to have some type of return on our efforts, a return on our investment of time and energy. It's as if what we wish to create, that which is to be created, has chosen you. I would like to say that again. It's as if what you wish to create, that which is to be created, has chosen you. It's not the other way around. It's not that you have chosen to create a particular thing. 
the thing has chosen you. Why do I say this? Because if you do not follow through with that which inspires you, it is as if it will haunt you until the end of your days, this time around. And it's my belief that from a karmic standpoint, you will be reborn back into samsara, this world, again, to fulfill this calling. This calling is as if what you wish to create, that which is to be created has chosen you. It's not that you have chosen to do a particular thing. You're drawn to this thing. It has already been chosen and you are the only one that can fulfill that which inspires you. That's true inspiration. That's true creativity. Think about the thing that you love to do, that you're good at doing. How has that come about? Do you find that you have time to do it? Do you deny that this is something that you love to do? That it helps people? That it brings a, a good return on your efforts? How do you feel when you're actually doing this thing? How do you feel when you're accomplishing it? How do you feel when it's completed? These are your gifts. It might be in the area of healing. Maybe you have the gift of art or music. Maybe you're a gifted storyteller. Maybe you're good with numbers, good with your hands, good with communicating. Whatever it might be, understand that this is unique to you and nobody can do it the way you do it. Take another nice deep breath. Slowly exhale. Breathe in again, slowly exhale. I invite you to sit with these words, fresh in the mind for as long as time permits. And again, remember, it's as if what you wish to create, that which is to be created, has chosen you. <laughs> 